Yes, I've come your way once again. This is your guy, Wilson Gordon Ghana, your youth advisor. If today is to be your first time on this channel, just take a minute and press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Any video which I'll upload up here, like today's video, you'll be the first person to be notified that Wilson has dropped a video. But don't forget to share and like and comment on this video. This video is about we need a generational thinker. It's about we need a generational thinker in Africa. Why am I bringing this video up today? Because I am on the social media and I was making my research and I found this topic from one senior teacher. It's a pastor called Dr. Mensa Otabel. I salute you. And I have picked something on his video and I want to share with you people or with, with you guys out there. If we are talking about generational thinker, we don't just sit down or we don't just stand up and vote for any man or any woman to lead us. We need people who have vision to lead us in, in Ghana or in Africa as a whole. We need generational thinker, people who can plan our economy to, for our economy to stay so that we, the youth in Africa, we, we can be free. A generational thinker is a person who sit down and plan for his people in the country. Now, when I was watching this video, I learned so many things out of this video. And he talks about Tete Kwasi, the first man who brought the cocoa pot to Ghana. And now, look at what Ghana has transferred. Or Ghana has benefited from this cocoa. He brought this cocoa from Fernandopo, now known as Equatorial Guinea, in the West Africa. So, if we get such men in, in our country, in our various countries, we will see that we are not going to fall on anything which will bring hunger to the land. Tetakwasi brought this cocoa pot to Ghana, and within 30, 31 years, Ghana has found a seed, or it, Ghana has found a backbone. It's only one man who brought this to the country, and now the country is benefit from it. What about you and me? We just queue to go and vote without thinking about the person which we are going to vote for. Why am, I, why am I doing this video today? Because I have some, uh, I have some large, uh, or I have some lesser thing which I want you guys to come out and comment with it. I was on the social media again, and I saw that the MPs which we have in Ghana, 270 MPs, they said their vehicles are old. So we want, they want to go out there to take a loan to buy new cars for these MPs. If I may ask, are we thinking of the politicians or we are thinking of the people who are living in the country? What about the schools? Which people, uh, which our children are sitting under a, a tent? Even if I'm saying a tent, I'm mistaken. But which they are sitting on a, a wooden tent, which is made of, uh, what do you call it? Coconut touch. If it rains, these children cannot learn. They don't have good, uh, what do you call it, good decks to sit on it. 
and we are thinking about borrowing money to buy V8, new V8 for these MPs. Why are we doing this? And why these our leaders in Africa will just go to parliament and think once about our people, our children, which they don't have good school structure or school burden or school, the good classrooms which they will learn. Teachers are suffering. Our finance minister, Adokufuo, is planning to take huge sum of money, which means we don't have the money, but we are going to borrow this money to buy cars. Last, I show you some video on, on my channel with an hospital with three beds and a patient lying on that bed and it started raining. And the, the ceiling or the roof is leaking and this patient is sleeping on the bed. He cannot wake up. Can, he cannot do anything. But we don't think about those things and we are thinking about luxury cars for our MPs. Who do this to us? We have the money. We have the resources. We have everything in Africa. But the people... Or the, the 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 people are suffering. We are suffering. Our leaders, we are suffering. If you are in the country, the little income which will come, your utility bills is taking all of the money. These people don't think about us. They don't think about us. They only think about their self-interest. That is why our late president said, we have people in the country with their intelligent criminals. Yes, it's true. I want to see your comments on this video. Now, the... The part which I'm going to take you to now is about our president, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, want to amend uh, that they should pay our first lady and our second lady. It's a good idea because when people are talking about this, I think that is a good idea because it's not only Ghana which, which they are going to pay our ladies because... For instance, if I am the president of the land and my wife is a trader selling in Makola markets, immediately I became the leader or I became the president. My wife is not supposed to go to the market again. He's supposed to be with us, to, to be with me, or to be to have an office to welcome the other ladies from other countries. So they are working. We should give that note to them so that they can pay them too. But we need generational thinker. My president, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, now, what are you thinking about these new cars which they are going to bring to the country? Even if they are going to bring the cars and we have the money, we, the youth, we don't have any problem about that. But borrowing, borrowing, borrowing is going to be a headache for us in the future. What about the schools? What about the teachers? What about the people living in the village don't have good drinking water to drink? What have you think about these people? I'm asking you, Mr. President. It's just a question. What about the people? What about the security service? Which they are there. Or what about the uh, the prison service? Which they are there marketing marijuana in the prison? What have you 
plan or what is your plans for these people? Because they commit a crime before they are going there. And the crime which they commit, they keep them in one corner to amend that crime. Which means they don't know, they, we don't know, or they are not going there to change, but they are going there to continue the crime which they committed. If one person can have a, a stick or one row of marijuana and he will be jailed to go to the prison, and if the person go to the prison, is going to have more of these uh, drugs, which is smoking or this weed, which is which is smoking outside, and they arrest him. You put him in a room to give him the way to smoke more. What is the sense in that? Leave them, because, Mr. President, you need to go to our security post, uh, our prison post. To check the business, the type of business which they are doing there. I'm so hurt, but I will come out with the full video of this, the prisoners, which they are marketing marijuana and cocaine in the prison sector, which we have people which we call the security or the prison guards. Which we, the taxpayers, we are paying them, and the people are there doing such act. What is the sense in that? What is the sense in it that we will use the taxpayers' to money to pay these people to guide these people for them to change? And they will come out, and still the character or the habits which we send them there, they are not going to change. And they will come out with the same habit. I will end here with my video. But I will come again with the full video. So that you can understand this video. But Mr. President, do something about it for us. As a generational thinker, we need to sit down and think. I will end here with the video. This is your guy Wilson, God in Ghana. Please, I need your comments. Subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching.